I'm at Royal St. Cloud Golf Links just south of Orlando and I've got a little exercise here that I'd like you to try to improve your chipping. It's only for chipping and you'll see why in a moment. I love to take um, use of the environment, what's around me, anything that I can use to create shots affect my imagination, I'm all for it. In this case I've taken a bag stand, uh, if you were doing this at home a small step ladder works equally well, but something that I can hit the ball through but something I've got to keep the ball below. As I say a small step ladder in the back garden can work just as well just keep it down in the low rungs but on the golf course um, a bag stand beautiful now what am I going to do here in a moment I'm going to try and chip the ball not pitch it I'm going to chip it a lowish one I'm going to try and chip it right through between the uprights and just control the trajectory of the golf ball. Why am I doing that? Well the ability to hit it through there consistently is going to encourage me to give the ball a slightly downward blow, a slight pinch. It's going to help me create beautiful impact alignments when I hit the ball. If I had a dollar for every club member around the world that I've seen trying to do this around the greens, I'd be a very wealthy man. I'd still do school of golf, mind you, because I love it. But here, trying to hit one through the uprights there. The hands are going to be forwards, it's just going to be a little chip shot and, and for obvious reasons I'll hit one right here. For obvious reasons I'm not wanting you to go ahead and think that's good, I'd like to do it with my six iron or my three wood, that would be really bad, don't you dare do that. But again trying to chip it through there, pinching, letting the legs move a little bit, anything that can create the picture in your mind is going to be very helpful. So I'll just chip this one hopefully through the upright and I'm, I'm sort of training my imagination, I'm looking where I want that ball to go, I'm not looking so much down at the ball, I'm looking right between that bag stand, I'm letting the picture of what I want the ball to do create the motion. I'm just trying to chip it right through that bag stand. Now I just want to show you that if you're chipping, I don't know if I can do this, but if you're chipping and you're only chipping, if you happen to hit the bag stand it isn't going to ricochet back and hit you too badly. It might do that or it might come back just a few feet but it's only for chipping but it's where golf begins. You learn small to win big in golf, you learn small to win big. So little chip shots through a bag stand, through a step ladder, they're gradually going to sow the seeds. Great oaks from little acorns do grow. This is a little acorn that can grow into something super special. So use a bag stand if you can but just remember it's only for chip shots.